Approximately 4 millennia ago, there existed a highly developed, advanced, and extremely affluent urban center that ultimately became one of the most renowned cities on earth. The streets were well paved and various entrances existed to access the fortified city that had over 250 towering structures, each at least 100 meters tall. The origins of modern written language and mathematics can be traced back to this city. The transportation infrastructure consisted of boats, roads, and movable bridges that made movement easy. The famous Hanging Gardens, considered as one of the seven ancient wonders of the world, were engineering marvels. The wealth of the city was incomprehensible. The citizens of the city created stunning works of art from gold, including a golden image of Baal, a table said to be constructed from 22,000 kilograms of pure gold, a golden lion statue and a golden sculpture of a human. The royal palace was grandiose and the largest of its kind. One of the most impressive and grandiose architectural structures in recorded history, Babylon was once located in what is currently known as modern Iraq. Everyone is familiar with Babylon and its most iconic structure, the Tower of Babel, which was the tallest tower in the world at the time. However, how did this incredible rise and fall of Babylon and the Babylonian Empire transpire? Remember to press the like button and turn on notifications for more content. After the collapse of the Akkadian Empire, two new powers emerged, vying for control of the surrounding territories. The Babylonians were situated in the south and the Assyrians in the north. The Babylonians were the first civilization to establish an empire that encompassed the entirety of Mesopotamia. The city-state of Babylon had existed in Mesopotamia for a considerable amount of time, but there are more details about its history that are yet to be explored. As the Akkadian Empire began to decline, the Amorites took advantage of the opportunity and moved in to establish their own territory in Babylon. This occurred around 1792 BC when King Hammurabi was elected as ruler. He soon became ambitious and desired to expand his rule beyond just Babylon, ultimately leading to his conquest of other neighboring city-states. In a relatively short amount of time, he successfully gained control of all of Mesopotamia, including the Assyrians in the north. Hammurabi's determination and refusal to back down played a significant role in his success. The individual in question became a highly influential leader and played a significant role in making Babylon one of the wealthiest and most thriving cities during ancient times. The location of the city, situated on the banks of the Euphrates River, facilitated it becoming a major hub for trade, attracting people from all corners of the world. The city was abundant in resources and goods which resulted in a constant influx of wealth, services, and resources. Additionally, Babylon was known for its advanced state and was quick to embrace and adopt new ideas and technology from around the world. It was also the largest city of its time, with a population estimated to have reached 200,000 at its peak. In the city center, the inhabitants constructed a large pyramid which served as a temple. Scholars believe that this pyramid had significant importance. The large pyramid in the city center would have been around 100 meters in height, and had wide streets leading to it from all city entrances. Surrounding the pyramid and other parts of the city were gardens, palaces, towers and elaborate works of art. The city was also considered a cultural center, with various disciplines such as science, music, mathematics, astronomy and literature thriving within its walls. The Babylonians were key in the invention of writing and mathematics, their contributions often taken for granted today. For instance, it can be argued that without Babylonian influence, the capability to view videos like the one you're currently watching would not exist as they played a significant role in creating various forms of writing and popularizing it as a means of recording information, including historical facts that have since been lost. The Babylonians are credited for having created a number of innovations that are essential to the modern world, such as the wheel, modern agriculture, the bow, the plow, irrigation, among others. Their contributions have been vital in shaping the way humanity functions today. Interestingly, according to some accounts, the inventors of these innovations such as the wheel or plow attributed the ideas for their creation to divine or extraterrestrial beings. The origins of many of these inventions are not well understood, but some ancient people believe they were visited by entities from the sky who showed them how to live prosperously and make use of their surroundings. This is an intriguing topic, but getting off track from the main subject, which is the role of Babylonians in these inventions, they were a key contributor. The Babylonians created the first form of writing system that utilized clay tablets with wedge-shaped letters, which allowed them to document a great deal of their history and early mathematical knowledge. In fact, these writing methods have given us more insight into ancient Babylon than we have of ancient Egypt. They also developed the foundation of modern mathematics, they were first civilization to use it to measure land, calculate taxes, and conduct various business transactions. 
They also employed mathematical principles to record observations of the night sky and create a lunar calendar that was highly precise for its time. Additionally, they were the first civilization to use symbols to represent large numbers, for example, a symbol could be used to document. Initially, to represent ownership of 50 bales of wheat, Babylonians had to draw 50 individual symbols, but as they improved their writing systems they began to use symbols to represent numbers such as 1, 10 and 60. It is believed that the Babylonians also developed the first abacus, which was an early form of a calculator. The Hammurabi Code was another important Babylonian achievement, it was the first time laws were written down. King Hammurabi was the first ruler who requested laws be recorded. Prior to this, laws were mostly passed down verbally, which created a lot of ambiguity for citizens and made it difficult for them to know what was right and wrong. Imagine being told that owning more than 50 piles of wheat is illegal, and if you own more, you should give it to the nearest person, in this scenario, Billy takes half of your wheat without you knowing that he lied and robbed you. This hypothetical scenario illustrates how uncertain the legal system was before King Hammurabi decided to write down the laws. There was no way to be sure about what actions the king considered illegal. To resolve this, Hammurabi instructed some of his workers to create large pillars that displayed all the laws of the land at that time, which were only 282, in comparison to the thousands of laws we have to follow today. While many of Hammurabi's laws were very specific, they served as a guide for people to know what was allowed and what wasn't. The laws that were established by Hammurabi were meant to be used as a reference for similar situations in the future. For instance, there were laws to guide what actions would be considered legal if a neighbor convinced you to give them all your wheat. There were also laws to regulate businesses, ensure fair wages for workers, regulate trading, establish rental and slave prices and many other aspects. Additionally, the laws established criminal behavior and the consequences for breaking them. Laws regarding adoption marriage and divorce were also established. Now discussing the fall of Babylon, the main question that arises is what led to the collapse of this great city and how it nearly disappeared from history. After Hammurabi's passing, his sons were charged with the responsibility of ruling the city. The issue was, due to the lack of strong leadership skills and sternness in the sons of Hammurabi, the city of Babylon began to weaken. Its neighboring cities and countries lost faith in Babylon and saw that it was falling apart. Taking advantage of this situation, the Kassites invaded and conquered Babylon, replacing the new leaders and taking control of the city. They governed Babylon for about 400 years. During this period, all of Hammurabi's laws were disregarded and the city was restructured to fit the Kassites' intentions. Later on, the Assyrians took over the Kassites and claimed Babylon as their own. The city was regained by Babylonians only in 612 BC but with much of it ruined and need to be rebuilt. Once more, this new empire, known as the Second Babylonian Empire, reigned over Mesopotamia and was referred to as the Neo-Babylonian Empire. King Nebuchadnezzar took advantage of the fall of the Assyrian Empire and claimed the throne of Babylon in 616 BC. His son, Nebuchadnezzar's son, King Nebuchadnezzar II, followed in his father's footsteps and worked to restore Babylon to its former glory. He led the city for 43 years and became one of the most respected leaders in Babylon's history. He governed with a strict hand, but his laws were well regarded by the citizens of Babylon. Additionally, he was a skilled military leader and helped expand Babylon's territory to the west. He also personally lead the armies. As per various stories in the Bible, the Hebrews were captured and made to work as slaves for a period of 70 years. After the passing of Nebuchadnezzar, the city started to deteriorate. By 529 BC, the city was overtaken by Persians and became a part of the Persian Empire, undoing all the progress Nebuchadnezzar made to revive it. Among the most significant accomplishments of Babylon was the construction of the Tower of Babel, which was a historically significant and is referred to in the Bible. The Tower of Babel was built shortly after the Great Flood that killed almost all the inhabitants of Earth. According to the Bible it was built when all the people of Mesopotamia still, when the settlers arrived in the area. They all shared a common language and had plans to construct a massive tower that would reach towards the heavens. Some theories suggest that the tower was built with the goal of reaching paradise, while others believe it was built as a precaution against future floods. However, according to biblical accounts, God had other plans and caused the people to forget their shared language and speak different languages, leading to a breakdown in communication and the abandonment of the tower's construction. It is uncertain which structure in the area is the actual Tower of Babel. But many experts believe the ziggurat known as the Eight Mananki of Babylon is the most likely candidate, as it was believed to have been dedicated to the gods, Marduk, the god who was honored as the patron of Babylon. It goes on to suggest the possibility that temples found in the area were the inspiration for the Tower of Babel. The effort to revive and rebuild the city of Babylon under the rule of Saddam Hussein, 
However these efforts were halted after the invasion of Iraq by the United States in 2003. The area was later opened for tourism in 2009, but the rebuilding project was never resumed. Babylonians were responsible for creating a system of writing, thanks to which we have a lot of information about the city and its inhabitants. That if similar records were available for other ancient civilizations, it would greatly expand our knowledge of history. How do you feel about the city? Did it live up to expectations, or have certain aspects of its history been distorted or exaggerated over time? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the like button and turn on notifications for future content.